this season on Welcome to Plathville. She was using a made-up story to validate her big emotions. Mm -hmm. Olivia said my mom had used Ethan's credit card and was stealing from Ethan. Getting back from Europe, I discovered that none of them were willing to talk to me or have anything to do with me. Ryan blocked me. Can't call her, can't send her a text. The family is falling apart. That's a big old mess. I always thought you and dad were like perfect together. I'm still bitter about the whole divorce. I don't want to keep walking on eggshells around every single person. But you're not going to pick sides with your family, right? That's actually really pretty. Yeah. The last time I had a relationship with my sister Lydia Grace was when we were teenagers. Open them up a little. My parents thought Lydia was walking the fine line to hell, so I cut ties with her. In the world we grew up in, anything that made you happy was sinful. Somebody's got to be the scapegoat, and that fell on me. Girl, you keeping secrets. <laughs> <laughs> Would you call me your girlfriend? Oh, definitely. <laughs> he definitely gives me the warm fuzzies. I'm not going to try to bargain for something that is not going to come about. <laughs> Working out, that's my new hobby. Blood flows in and everything gets bigger. <laughs> wow. So you're rebelling against everything that our enemy has planned against you. That sums it up. I get back, she's gone. I'm just so tired of all the nonsense. This is going to come as a shock. <sighs> but um, there's so many secrets and, like, dishonesty. It's stupid. Mariah, what the hell are you talking about? Just don't forget that I love you. I don't know when we'll speak next. I'm just wondering how it all got to this point. I've carried all this baggage and weight of all the mistakes that I've made my whole life, and it's time to just put that down. <laughs> Hallelujah.